In this video, we are going to cover things you should know before you relocate to Jacksonville, Florida to help you save time and help you decide. Hi, I'm Yasha Wells, your favorite Jacksonville realtor. So if you ever had the chance to relocate anywhere other than where you currently live, there are a lot of options, literally the whole wide world to consider. So I've spent a ton of time researching why you may want to or not want to move to Jacksonville, Florida. And in this video, I'm going to share the top five things you should know before you move or relocate to Jacksonville, Florida. And make sure you stick around until the end because I'm also going to give you a bonus tip that you should know before making your final decision. Tip number one. Before moving to Jacksonville, Florida, it's important to know that it is the largest city in terms of land area in the United States with a population of over 900,000 people. Jacksonville covers an area around 875 square miles. It is the largest city by land area in the U.S. because of its sprawling nature with many neighborhoods and suburbs, as well as its location along the Atlantic coast. Tip number two. Jacksonville has a diverse economy with several key industries that drive its growth. So the first one we have is the healthcare industry. It's a major contributor to the city's economy with several large hospitals and healthcare facilities located in the area. This industry employs a significant number of people and generates a significant amount of revenue for the city. Another important aspect of Jacksonville's economy is logistics and transportation. The city is home to the Port of Jacksonville, which is a major shipping hub on the East Coast. This helps to create jobs in industries such as warehousing, distribution, and transportation. The banking and financial services industry is also a significant contributor to the city's economy, with many national and regional banks having a presence in Jacksonville. The city's proximity to the southeast and its large population base makes it an attractive location for financial institutions. Tip number three. The cost of living is relatively low compared to other major cities in the U.S. for several reasons. One major factor is the cost of housing. The median home price in Jacksonville is significantly lower than many other major cities, making it more affordable for people to purchase or rent a home. Additionally, property taxes in Jacksonville are lower than in many other cities, which also helps to keep housing costs down. Another factor that contributes to a low cost of living in Jacksonville is the relatively low cost of utilities and transportation. The cost of electricity, gas, and water is typically lower in Jacksonville than in many other major cities, and the cost of gasoline is also generally lower. Food is also relatively less expensive in Jacksonville. The cost of groceries and dining out is usually lower than in many other major cities. Lastly, Overall cost of living in Jacksonville is lower due to lower wages and salaries than in other major cities. If you found this video helpful so far, give it a thumbs up and comment below what additional questions do you have about Jacksonville, Florida. And maybe I'll answer your question in the next video. Tip number four, the weather in Jacksonville, Florida is generally mild to warm with hot summers and mild winters. In the summer months, temperatures typically range from the high 70s to the low 90s with occasional heat waves. The area also experiences high humidity, which can make it feel even warmer. And I'm just here to tell you that the summers and the humidity, they are something else. So just be prepared to take multiple showers a day. In the winter, temperatures typically range from the low 50s to the mid 60s with occasional cold snaps that can bring temperatures down into the 40s. Snowfall is very rare here, but frost and freeze definitely do occur. Jacksonville also receives a significant amount of rainfall throughout the year, with the heaviest rainfall occurring during the summer months. The area also is prone to hurricanes, so it's important to be prepared during hurricane season. And I'm just here to tell you, during the summer months, that rain, when it hits two o'clock, you do not wanna be on the road the most important thing to know about hurricane season here for Jacksonville is that 
we have the storm surges and flash flooding and that is really what can cause a lot of damage to properties or to your home or just different parts of town you may not be able to access and really it's mostly homes that are located near the St. John's River so those are the ones you want to be very mindful of or any homes that are near the beach or the intracoastal so if you're more inland if you're near like maybe just a man-made lake by your home that's not one that you'll need to worry about so overall the weather in Jacksonville is relatively mild compared to a lot of other parts of the country making it just a great place for people who enjoy warmer weather and I think everyone pretty much moves to Florida for the weather I mean I don't know you tell me why are you thinking about moving to Florida and tip number five if you didn't know, Jacksonville is considered a military town. I mean, come on, I moved here to Jacksonville because I am a Navy brat, so that's what brought me here and why I've never left. The city is home to two major military installations, which are NAS Jax, which is also known as Naval Air Station in Jacksonville, and Naval Station Mayport, which is also known as Mayport. And NAS Jax is a major naval installation that provides training and support for naval aviation operations. The base is home to several squadrons of aircrafts, including F-18 Hornets and P-8 Poseidon. It also provides training for naval aviators, aircrew, and support personnel. Mayport is the U.S. Navy's fourth largest fleet concentration area and home port to a diverse collection of ships, including destroyers, submarines, and additional ships. It's also the home of a Coast Guard sector and the Navy Reserve Center. Both bases provide jobs and economic stability to the area, and both bases work with local organizations and schools to support the local community. Jacksonville's proximity to these bases and the presence of many veterans and active duty military personnel in the area makes it a strong military community. Additionally, the city has a long history of supporting the military and many Many businesses and organizations in the area offer special discounts and services for military members and veterans. Just remember to have your military ID. Now for our bonus tip. Earlier in the video, I mentioned that I would share my bonus tip on relocating to Jacksonville, Florida. So researching neighborhoods and school districts in Jacksonville, Florida is important if you have children because the quality of education and the environment can have a significant impact on their future. Jacksonville has a diverse range of neighborhoods and school districts, some providing excellent education and resources while others may not be as well resourced. And I just want to share this other tip with inside my tip with you is that you do have choice here in Jacksonville, specifically Duval County, because you are able to put your child in a different school and it may just not be, you know, a bus that comes to pick them up. If you're not going directly with the public school system or the, the school that you're zoned for, for wherever you live. Just like myself, I live in one part of town, but I do commute about 20 minutes to go to a private school or take all my kids to a private school and there are four of them. Them. So that's my bonus tip within my tip. <laughs> By researching neighborhoods and school districts in Jacksonville, you can gain a better understanding of the quality of education and resources available to your child, such as the class size, student teacher ratio, extracurricular activities and test scores, and making an, an informed decision about where to live. And I would just say this too, just to give you some more insight on the school system, is that my kids, they do go to a private school, and I love the fact that it is all the way from really preschool, and then they have another school, which is, the, they call it the big school, where you're going from kindergarten all the way through 12th grade grade and but what I love is that my kids are able to get involved in a lot of other extracurricular activities and sports a lot early on versus having to wait until they're in middle school to participate in school sports and or um, also doing outside sports because I like the fact that they could just get out of school and then they can go straight to their activity without me having to really stop my work day or you know having someone to go pick them up and take them to their next location where they can just transition into a you know after school activity right after school. So that's my tip. Be sure to check out the link in the description to help you find your next home here in Jacksonville, Florida.